I've been on Amigle for the last couple of nights having boring conversations with kids. Kill myself. How's that for an intro? Also, tomorrow's going to be a drunken game at the time you hear this, so um, there's coverage from it or have it. If not, then whatever. But either way, let's get to the uh, public freakout commentary, folks, because I have nothing going on. This first clip says, uh, vegan nearly decapitated while on a mission. These douchebag vegan people are at some sort of place where they decapitate cows, which is sad how they do them, but man, is it good. And, uh, this guy almost gets his head cut off, this moron, for putting his head in one of those cow things, cow belt things. We're not going to play the whole thing, but let's get to this. They're all wearing blue shirts. They're all dressed up. Make sure your hair is all pretty. And this Chinese, this Asian guy right here, he's, uh, he, um, uh, they're pointing to an arrow. He's doing something wrong, and I'm not sure what. But, um, something's gonna happen, and it's not gonna be good. And there's a bunch of chickens next to him. And, uh, they're setting up right now. And, uh, the guy is... Wait, hold on a sec. Let's go back. I'm trying to fast forward to... Good stuff. So this woman hits the switch. She's like, she's, she's washing herself off with blood over her. And something's going on. What's going on? And this Asian guy. Is it the Asian guy? Which one is it? I don't know who it is, but somebody, the camera person can't get the angle, you dummy. And this dumb broad doesn't look concerned at all. She's like, wait, what's going on? You idiot, one of your people about to die. Yeah, I think it is the Asian guy. The Asian guy's getting his fucking head almost cut off. Yeah, the guy's choking. He's almost decapitated. And they find, and then the guy comes over. And they finally let him go. And he's fucking sweating like he's making wonton soup. <laughs> this is like Saul. You guys ever seen the movie Saul? You gotta like unlock the puzzle before the person's head blows up? This is some real life saw shit eight. right here. It's eight. Well, that's what happens when you fuck around with shit like that. I don't know what that's gonna do. Uh, this next one says this kid needs to know. I think I played this before in a show. This is a simp. This will make you sick to your stomach. Begging for a woman, saying you gotta choose me or him. Well, if you're begging like that, she's obviously gonna choose the other guy. But this is 25 seconds. This is a guy crying in the street like a little. Well, you know. Here it is. Get all about me. Because guess what? That's what's going to happen. He's not going to let me be your friend. He's not going to let us do stuff together. And there's no way it's going to be able to work. And you're going to have to come to a point where you're going to choose him or me. And you're going to choose him. You will. Because that's what everyone does. Okay, so the audio, the audio probably came out too low for that. Maybe I'm gonna try to I'm gonna boost it up and uh, put it in the audio thing. Who cares? Uh, this next clip and I love these drive-through videos tonight. KFC employee at Springfield, Illinois, cars door dash driver a quitter. Q U dash dash R. What is it? And fucking explicit feel freak out. I don't know what this is. It's 41 seconds, but I love these drive. I wish it was all drive-through at night videos. I love drunken stone people getting mad about their food. That's all I care about. I don't give a fuck about no video. This ain't the first time I've been on video. You just cussed at me and you're working. Why? Why are you fucking queer? Why? All right, fat What did he say? What the fuck? Oh, he called him a queer. I didn't know he was called him a quitter. So this drive through guy's like, hey, fuck this job. He doesn't care. And the and, and corporate office will fire this guy. But he doesn't give a fuck. And I think they're on Instagram Live or Facebook Live as well. Queer, why? Oh, oh, oh hell shit. no. Oh, hell no. Let's, uh-uh. Did you hell no. So you just called me a you queer? You just called, called someone a, a queer. queer. You're a fat ass, bitch. Okay. We're, yeah, we're, 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 we're really you're, gay. You're That's the thing, though. You can't do that. So I don't give a you fuck. You can't do that. I don't give a fuck you if y'all are gay that. or not. This you can't do that. Queer, so you can get the fuck out of here. So they don't like the queers here at KFC. Hey, I thought Chick-fil-A didn't like the queers. You're going to lose your job. I hope you know that. I don't give a fuck. Oh my God, I'm going to lose my $10 an hour. No offense to anybody who works in fast food because I respect you, but I don't think this guy cares if he loses his little part-time job at KFC. Pretty sure he can do DoorDash or something and make probably the same amount of money. This on video and corporate's gonna see it. You Fuck just hate the it. Video, fam. You're gonna, you're gonna be. Fuck you're the video, fam. This is going all over Fuck Facebook. All over. This guy's gangster. He works with black women too. My lord. So this next one is too long. It's 7 minutes and 47, 46 seconds. I'm just gonna play the intro. Get right to the action. Street preacher hitting the head with a bat. Let's play the intro. Hello, this is Brother Dean. Hello, Brother this Dean. This is Apollo High School. It's 2:35. 
Hey, what are you doing there in high school? That's kind of creepy. Five and it's time to preach. Apollo High School. I think I played this before years ago. There's so many public freakouts that people recycle. But let's play it. We're going to fast forward about five and a half minutes. Let's get to the meat and potatoes here. So it's it's a very urban high school. And I say urban. A lot of uh, jogger kids and Hispanics and a few whites. This is not the place to do this at, by the way. And uh, someone's going to sucker punch this guy. With a bat. I really do. I'm praying for you. I hope you find a light. <laughs> There's a security guy with a uh, walkie talkie. Something bad's going to happen, guys. Thank you. Have a good day. What happened? Who are you? So it's coming any second now. Hey, listen, I don't know if you're all there or not. Okay, so this black guy comes over to talk to him. I'm not sure if he's one of the kids' uh, dad or something. He's the dad of one of the kids. But while he's talking to this guy, somebody comes over and sucker punches him in the head with a bat. But you Here it take is. That shit come. These is kids, man. I don't know if you play with a four deck, but these is kids. You don't do that around. These is kids. This guy needs to go back to high school. Uh, kids. Why don't you go on the corner down there where you're supposed to be? You hear me? These kids ain't got time for you. Yeah, they're not learning anything. They're all standing on the street right now. You know, is you sick in their mind or something? These kids don't need to see this around here. You can look all crazy as you want. Obviously, you ain't playing with a full deck. All right, let's get to the action here. Come on. Lucky these kids around y'all. You know, if these kids weren't around here, I better knock your ass out already. Oh, one of those people resorting to violence. That always happens. To be honest with you, I could, you need to take that shit and go somewhere else. Now, I wish you would turn that shit on and say something. I'll take your phone and take that shit from you, too. Oh, he's going to rob him. So he's not just going to cause a violent act. He's going to rob him. There you go. These kids don't need to see that. Hey! hey. Oh, so there it is. Someone came. So I think the black guy thought someone's going to hit him. And they hit the guy with the camera. Oh, my God. Hey. See that? That's what I'm telling you. you, you go for the and they're saying world star. And all the kids start clapping. This is the future of our country, everybody. <laughs> One of those kids is going to be the next president. So he's walking away now, and rightfully so. These kids are fucking dangerous. They will kill you. Uh, Baltimore is not a great city. A lot of murders and a lot of joggers there. But this person is, says, my first day in Baltimore. Oh, you're going to love it here. Lots of colorful people, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So the setup is this, I'm sorry, this is a convenience store, it's a bunch of uh, jogger women, and uh, they're arguing about something. Someone bought the last um, pack of Kool-Aid, I don't know what happened here. So this whole area is black, the people that work there, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Uh, this next one is a uh, really short one. I love these drive through videos, but this, unfortunately, is during a day. But this says, just another day at McDonald's. And um, it says, the guy never got his McRib. He drove off without ordering. Um, so I think this is about McRibs. McDonald's has a lot of fucked up people going there. But let's play it. This is the last one. So he's pulling up. Hey, yo, they're throwing rocks. Hey, I got that on video too. What can I do for you? Well, hold on, man. I just the sun's about to go down. I'm sorry, what? Sun's about to go down this drive-through. There's about to be a fight. I just got something on video. They threw a rock at their car and my car. So the two cars in front of them, I guess, are fighting over the last McRib. That sandwich is not that good, by the way. I had that years ago. It was soggy, and I don't like the fact that they put raw onions on there. I don't think I don't, I don't like raw onions on anything. I'm more of a fried onion guy, but that's just because I'm from Philly. <laughs> really? So something's yep. going on. There's two the cars. Deal? Yep. Awesome. Get the cops down. Here we go. So toward rocks at people. 
Oh. It's a, yeah, they're throwing rocks. And this guy's driving around. Why is he gonna drive around? You're gonna get hit with rocks. Why are you gonna get in the middle of this shit, bro? The McDonald's should not have rocks on their property because that place makes people angry and you don't want people throwing rocks in your face. It's bad enough people throw drinks at you. And... So, I don't know. This wasn't that good of a freak out, but he's driving away from it. And rightfully so. Someone threw a rock at me. I'm like, fuck this place. I'm leaving. I don't need this fucking shitty ass food that bad. Well, folks, this podcast stinks. Your mother's cunt stinks. Everything in the world stinks. We're going to wrap this up with some odd news. You stay put there, fuckheads. <laughs> Hey, let's give uh, an update what's going to be on the channel. I got a bonus episode coming up in about two days, Drunken and Gaming coverage. And then I been recording myself with Amigo having regular conversation with people. And I got to tell you, they are boring. There's like one trolling clip and the rest are boring. But I might put that up anyways, uh, just to make fun of myself. But that's that. And I want to do a prank call episode, but I'm tired of prank calling businesses. I'm trying to think of ideas. But folks, regardless, let's get to the odd news. Indian man killed by his own bird during a cockfight. I guess he died by his own cock. You don't play around with your own cock, folks. Texas woman was killed after a tire flew off another vehicle and stuck her windshield. That's some fucking Final Destination shit. That rarely happens to people, but... Now, middle school was insecure about his haircut, so his principal fixed it himself instead of disciplining the boy for wearing a hat. Oh, that's nice. Fucking principals are useless. Who needs them? You saw Principal Skinner on The Simpsons. Pocono's woman linked to alien reptile cult must stay jailed for killing boyfriend. Well, even if you fucking believe in a cult, you still got a, a lawmaker proposing Grand Theft Auto ban says video game contributes to carjacking. So actually, people were stealing cars before that game. People may throw you out of the car because of that game, but people actually were committing crimes and banging hookers and killing hookers. Uh, before that game. Man faked his own kidnapping because he didn't want to go to work. I think I'd read that before, but that's still a really awesome story. It says, Miami lawyer whose pants caught on fire during arson trial arrested on a cocaine charge. Liar, liar, pants on fire. These jokes aren't good. Man accused of stealing $3,000 in Magic Gathering cards faces two felonies. People still collect those. People still collect Pokemon cards. I remember that was big in the 99-2000. I used to buy those because I was trying to fit in like everybody else. Florida woman charged with setting fire to 12 trash trucks. Well, I guess they weren't picking up in her neighbors. <laughs> so she had enough of them. China court orders man to pay wife for housework and landmark case. I thought China didn't let women do anything in there. Well, that's odd. I'm not sure if I read this one before, but gust of wind makes woman pregnant. What the hell is she doing? Was the wind shaped like a dick and went up in a snatch? Seven-year-old girl, Alabama girl, sells lemonade to, fu to fund her own brain injuries. Whew. Well, listen, let's not make a joke there. But uh, she's going to have to sell a lot of lemonade. Yeah, but she just started GoFundMe. But if you want to sell lemonade, that's cute, too. Why do people always sell lemonade? Why not sell vodka and Coke? Oh, yeah, she's a kid. Ah, so what? Have a drink. Uh, Pakistan police pop their rollerblades to catch criminals. I need to get my rollerblades. I am going to catch you. First, I must fuck this chicken. And folks, I don't think there's anything else to say. Usually there's a lot more uh, news going on, but that's it. If we end short, we end short. Thanks for listening. It's to the bottom of my rotten heart. Once again, uh, Josh Cast bonus sewed in about two days, if you're listening to this on time. And uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, thank you for listening to the bottom. Ah, enough of the outro. Let's get out of here. Congratulations. You just sat through the most awful podcast you can sit through. Josh Cass.